Hi, my name's Patrick Tannery of ptlarts.com. Today I'm going to show you how to stretch a canvas. It's a really useful thing to know for a number of reasons. One, it works out a lot cheaper to get really decent canvases. Two, you get to build a relationship with the substrate that you're going to use to make your work on. <clears throat> so I've done this right from the early days of my painting. Um, so let me show you the process. First of all, we need to get these, which are stretcher bars. And you can buy them by the box. Just Google stretcher bars, canvas stretcher bars, and there's lots of different means to buy that. They literally cost less than a pound for each stretcher bar, like 60p or something for a stretcher bar if you buy them, a whole load of them. Um, so you buy, can buy boxes of 24. So today I'm going to make up 16 inch by 14 inch and then put linen substrate on. So I'm actually going to do two of these today. There we have it. There's two. They slot together really easy. You just need a little hammer to make them nice and tight. So I've cut some linen from a roll of linen. Again, if you go to any like art store, like Cass Arts is what I use. Um, you can quite often buy a roll of linen or canvas for painting and it'll save you so much money. You buy one roll, it's not difficult to store. It comes in a nice tight roll and it'll last you for ages. So you can have all the canvases and everything that you want. So there you can see the two um, stretcher bars laid face down uh, because there's a bevel on the front of them um, and now we will tighten them up. So this is a canvas stretching tool that you can see. Um, it's got a separate bar like this which sits on top of the canvas when you fold it in like so. So I'll fold this in there's like a Velcro type material there that helps it grip. You want to make sure it's in the middle of, that this piece here is in the middle of the stretcher bar. You can do up to, like I've done up to five feet or you know, nearly two meters with, these, with this tool. It's really handy and saves you a lot of time. And of course time is what, you really need to be saving. So then it's got these simple, tight these up, that holds onto the, in this case, linen, it can be canvas, whatever substrate you want to use. Now on this side, there's like this ratchet here, which is going to tighten it up. Again, I fold in the canvas here, gives you a nice even stretch. To do the whole canvas, once you get used to it, you can get it all done in about 15 minutes. So you get the other bar here, rest it on top. You can trim up the uh, linen or canvas afterwards, make it level with, sure it's level with the other one as best as you can. Uh, to get a nice even stretch. Loosen these, chuck that all in there. It's really easy to do. You can find, again online, lots of people have these tools and then don't want them anymore. So they're quite easy to get hold of second hand and they're very simple mechanisms. So you're not gonna just go far wrong. For about 50, 60 quid, you can pick up one of these secondhand. And you can do literally thousands of canvases if you're really prolific. And you can do for friends or whatever as well, which I've done. Um, yeah, which I've done for, you know, I've charged to do it. It just says if you're offering to make stretch canvases, people, this is the way to do it. Then you release this. And you start to tighten this up, this ratchet. OK, 
get it as tight as you go, it clicks. And there we go, that's as far as it needs to go. So I'm going to do that with both of them. I'm just going to show you how to staple them now. So here we go, down at screw fits or tool kit, toolbox, tool station, I mean. Get yourself one of these power staplers. I had a manual one for a couple of years. It just is a use, it doesn't matter how good the manual one is, it takes you twice as long and they invariably, the staples get stuck, they break and you have to get another one. So if they don't cost a lot of money, these 35 pound or something, say $50 for a power stapler saves you loads of time. And so like I tend to try and look to put a staple in the middle, to the end, to the end, in between, in between, on both sides. It just takes seconds. You know you've got a good, uh, you know that they've stuck in really nicely. Again, middle, end, end, in between, in between. It's a nice neat finish. Just one other thing, when you turn it round to do the other side, you can like tuck the corners in like a hospital bed type. Um, tuck them in before you, it just helps with the finish, with the finish. So I'm going to do them all and be back with you in a minute. So that's both of them done now. I'm just going to finish off the corner so I can show you one of the corners if my staples don't run out. So you fold it in like that. Nice neat little corner. Stapler. One. Three on each corner. Just get a hammer. Tap it. Sometimes they just need a little knock where you've got the thick cloth. So I'll do all of that on both of those and come back to you in a minute. So there we go. I've got them two. I've got the two canvases ready. Nice and flat. Now I'm going to prime them up. So this, there's my two canvases on the evil. Evil. <laughs> the evil easel. Um, so that's PVA. PVA glue so if you go to like your local decorator store and stuff and just get the pva that they use to seal a wall so it's a lot it's not like the thick glue that sets tables together it's like a watered down version that and that's all you need so we're going to just put a couple of layers of that onto the canvas and then after that I will be putting gesso, which you can get from your art store, just gesso, acrylic gesso. So there'll be two layers of that, two layers of gesso, and then you're ready to paint on top of it. You can buy either white acrylic gesso, or you can get different colours of gesso. You can have clear gesso, which I've tried as well. And they all like... Um, have got their own benefits it depends what work you want to do i go for the white gesso um and then i'll end up with something like this to work on i'm in the middle of doing this painting uh so it gives me a nice with the linen it's not quite so bright white as it is with the canvas so i don't mind doing it with white so there you go <coughs> This is Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you find it helpful. Any more, just um, have a look on my new YouTube channel for tips and philosophy and poems and music and all that sort of thing. Thanks very much.